day everyone, I am Joy C. Tabago from PSHA Filipino. This video is intended for the module 3, which is about or talk about the teacher as a knower of a curriculum. I am going to answer the two different questions about curriculum. The first question is, what is your understanding of the definition of curriculum? Question number two, differentiate the differences of the traditional view of curriculum and progressive view of curriculum. We all know that the word curriculum is defined as a broadly understood as subject and materials to be taught by a traditional institution. Typically, it is nested as a set of the subject but may also include the learning experiences, skills, and abilities also applied for learning in which it requires the purpose of an organization and management through the interaction among the teachers, students, parents, stakeholders, and administrations. In addition, curriculum is considered as the heart of learning or any institution which means that schools or universities cannot exist without a curriculum. Given the importance of curriculum, the word curriculum itself has become a dynamic process. And due to the changes that occur in our society, curriculum has been changed. In its broadest sense, curriculum refers to the total experiences of an individual, not only in school, but society as well. According to Bell 1971, curriculum offering of socially valued knowledge, skills, and attitude made available to students through a variety of arrangements during the time they are at a school, college, or universities. And according also to Bobby 1918, Curriculum is a series of things which children and youth must do and experience by way of developing abilities to do the things as well that wake up the affairs of adult life and to be in all respects an adult should be. Also, Caswell and Campbell, 1935, they define curriculum as a composed of all experiences children have under the guidance of the teacher. And based on the ideas of Daniel Tanner and Laurel N. Tanner, 1988, that curriculum is reconstruction of knowledge and experiences that is systematically developed under the auspices of the school or universities to enable the learner to increase his or her control of knowledge and experience. And lastly, according to David G. Armstrong, 1989, curriculum is a master plan for selecting content and organizing learning experiences for the purpose of changing and developing learners' behaviors and insight. After presenting and discussing the different views about the curriculum, now let's move on to the traditional and progressive view of the curriculum. The traditional view of the curriculum, the schools are less considered about the students themselves than what they get out of their lessons. Rather, the schools and teachers focuses on shaping into the moral and educated individuals who can contribute to the working world. Traditional curriculum, on the other hand, is typically the teacher-centered delivery of instruction on a certain topics to a classroom of learners. Success is often measured by proficiency of memorization and extensive testing of knowledge and skills comprehension. Traditional curriculum can be seen in the long-established in-person classroom style of learning used in most schools. The traditional view of curriculum is primary a techniques in oral instruction, reading and reciting facts. It is a passive way of learning that involves listening, reading, taking notes, and studying either individually or in groups. It 
things to ponder in traditional curriculum, teachers are a more influential figure, students are less proactive, parents are outside of the learning field, there are uses of worksheets, lectures, and visual aids, test result matters and are often the passing criteria of the program and lastly traditional curriculum is easily accessible and a quicker option after discussing the traditional view of curriculum now let's go on to the progressive view of curriculum after discussing the traditional view of curriculum now let's move on to progressive view of curriculum on the other hand, it forces students to learn things by themselves with a teacher only acting as an active participant rather than intervening by students. While on progressive curriculum, here are the things to ponder. Teachers are active participants. There are more room for collaboration. Students are encouraged to use their skills, more exposure to the outside world, play, interaction, experiences are the focus. Progressive curriculum is still relatively unknown with the most parents spawning at the idea. Thank you for watching.